I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the lonely ride. G'day guys and welcome to another episode of this GWS Giants career mode in AFL Evolution. And as you can see there, we're going to be playing the stunt in this episode. Um, but before anything, I just got to let you guys know that I'm going to be temporarily discontinuing the Kane Williamson career mode. And I do apologise to the people out there that enjoy watching my Kane Williamson career mode uh, videos. It's a bloody mouthful there. Um, don't get me wrong, I love playing with Kane because he's such a good batsman in the game and in real life. Um, but yeah, because AFL Evolution is in full swing, I'm enjoying so much in this game. Um, I thought I'd have three AFL Evo videos out uh, each week and then two um, DBC videos. But when the cricket season comes around, that might change and I might have three DBC 17 videos a week. But for now, I'm going to be having three AFL Evo and two DBC. Um, but yeah, once again, I'm sorry for that, but uh, just, just a decision I had to make. And uh, yeah, anyway, back to this game. Um, I'll have 12 players that can be trained. Once again, I'll do that uh, when I'm not recording, just to save a bit of time. But you know what? Um, I reckon we'll jump straight into the game now. There's nothing else really to do. We've got eight new messages, but they don't really mean much usually. And uh, yeah, we're heading to this match against the Suns. We will quickly check where it's at. Spotless Stadium. It is a home game. It's twilight as well. So uh, Suns just going to be going down. It's going to look really nice in the field. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Now you would think we'd be able to grab the win uh, in this game. Spotless Stadium, we're at home against the uh, the Suns who aren't the best uh, sides, but you just never know in this game. I mean, I've been flogged by smaller teams when I'm playing with Collingwood and that. So uh, yeah, anything can happen. Uh, there's the toss. Nothing much really interesting about the uh, pre-game stuff. But yeah, here we go. Shane Mumford in the ruck gets the tap out first up. And already a turnover. Ablett racks up his first possession just like that. And Aaron Hall takes the mark. You'd think they'd get their first inside 50 here. Might be going for the shot. No, he doesn't. And well done, Nathan Wilson. Whoa, no. It's happened. This has actually never happened to me, guys. But uh, I've seen this glitch happen. It's What the hell? How does this happen? But I've seen this glitch a fair bit on Facebook. And it's happened to me. So I guess uh, the only thing we can do is restart. Luckily, we weren't too far in. We're only like, what, four minutes in, so I'm not too fussed with that. Let's hope it doesn't happen again, but yeah, that's a little annoying. But yeah, we'll restart and uh, pick up where we left off. Okay, so take two, Shane Mumford back in the ruck. We're going to the right of screen this time, so a bit of a change there. Mumford, not the best of pickups, and we get it back. No, we don't. Yes, we do. And we've got a man out there, Tom Scully, can run on. Surely can't kick it from here. I think he has. Beautiful shot from Tom Scully. And what a start to this match. We get the first goal. And uh, yeah, he's very underrated in this game, Tom Scully. And I reckon he'll kick a few more of those in this season. Have a look at it. Right on the 50. Barrels at home. Great goal. Great hands there. Coniglio gets the inside 50. Patton. They've called it charging. Surely not. That's a pretty soft free kick there. We get the advantage, Coniglio inside 50 again, Patton doesn't quite get the mark, good pick up, get the hands off, can we get off the ground? Yes we do, Matt DeBoer, great, uh, great goal there, and that's his first disposal as well. Um, I did see someone in the comments saying that I didn't pronounce DeBoer's name correctly, it might be, is it DeBoer? It's either DeBoer or DeBoer. Uh, let me know in the comments because I want to make sure I pronounce these names right Otherwise, I'll be butchering them all season good hands get off to Patton and he kicks his What? He's missed That's uh, a little embarrassing. I think actually no, I don't think I know that is very embarrassing I was you look you heard me. I was about to he's about to kick his second Yes, good mark Mumford and he's got a chance to slot one here just outside 50, think it'd be it, it, definitely in his range. Great kick, that is beautiful. That splits the sticks yet again. We get our fourth goal. We're 25 points up, and Sun's still yet to score. And hands off to Kennedy. He kicks a point. Finally, they're on the board. Wasn't even Kennedy, sorry, it was Hall. Kennedy plays for us. I'm so stupid sometimes. But uh, yeah, we're at quarter time now. Um, we, we lead Gold Coast Suns by 25 points. 
Uh, Ryan Griffin and Callum Ward both with six possessions. And then Scully, Mumford and Patton all with one goal. And I reckon he'd go for the shot. Probably not in his range. Bloody hell. I was so wrong. I was so wrong. Ablett, he bloody torps it from probably almost 60 metres. That's a great kick. And, uh, yeah, they finally kicked their first goal. We lead them by 19 now. Get it back to Cameron. And, yes, he slots it. Great play between Cameron and Patton. Bit of a 1-2 there. We kick away even more. This could get ugly. This could get real ugly. With 31 points up, you wouldn't really think uh, Suns would be able to claw their way back. You never know, though. Look at Collingwood bloody last night. I'm so happy with their performance. They were 43 points down, and they somehow won it. And 40 seconds left. Still time if they get a mark here. No, well done. Great interception, Ryan Griffin. And we'll just run down the clock. And there it is. There's half time. We've done very well. We're leading by 32 points. And uh, let's hope we can increase that lead in the second half. Callan Ward with 10 disposals. Um, and then Gary Albert. Gary Albert's only had six. It feel, to me, it feels like he had about, I don't know, 12 or 13. Like, he, he, I've seen him a fair bit, but he's only, he's only had six and a goal as well. But let's head into the third quarter and uh, hopefully pile on a few more goals. Good mark, Mumford. We'll try and get it to Patton. That's a really good lead and a good mark as well. And I actually think, I, I'm pretty sure I saw Tom Scully might be injured. Um, and I think Josh Kelly came on for him. Hopefully that's not too serious. But anyway, Patton comes in and he slots it, of course. He wouldn't miss that. We get a goal back. And then uh, it's back to 32 now. Oh, well done, Brett Deledio. Good muscle there. Um, should be able to kick this with just a regular kick. Hasn't timed it the best. Patton, surely, yes. Great mark once again. Going to barrel at home. There it is. Another beautiful goal for Patton, or Mark, I should say. And, uh, yeah, I think that's his fourth goal. Didn't quite see. But we lead by 50 points now. And, uh, yeah, we should be able to get this win. And there it is. That's the end of the third quarter. We lead Gold Coast Suns by 44 points. And, uh, yeah, let's check out the individual stats. Ryan Griffin with 15 disposals. Jeremy Cameron with 13 posies and three goals. It's a good performance. Um, Jonathan Patton with four goals as well. And then there's for, for the Suns, we've got Took Miller. Talk Miller. That's a weird first name. Um, he's got 12 disposals. And then Swallow and Nichols with 11. So, um, yeah, pretty, I wouldn't say one-sided in the individual stats, but, yeah, definitely one-sided in the scoreline. Great hands to Patton off the ground. Rolls at home. And that is his four, uh, fifth goal, sorry. Stuff that up a little bit. Uh, he's 5-2. Well, what a great hands here from, I think it was might have been Toby Green again. Have a look at that. He's got a great hand pass on him. And uh, Patton sneakily dribbles it home. And we get our, uh, we're now back to 50 points. Oh, great tackle from Patton there. Another great tackle. And Toby Green runs away with it. That is a beautiful team goal. Two brilliant tackles, and then we finish it with a great goal from Toby Green. That's his second goal of the match, and uh, I think it's 63 points now. Just continues to increase that lead. 30 seconds left in this quarter, just about to finish. I should say game as well, and there it is. Bang. There's the final siren. We get the win at home, and uh, the home crowd definitely got their money's worth. We win by 63 points, I'm pretty sure. Um... Yeah, there it is, 63 point lead in the end. Ryan Griffin with 16 posies, Cameron with 15, Shane Mumford with 13, and then Jonathan Patton kicked a bag of five. Great uh, game there for him. Tom Nichols, 15 possessions as well. But uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for future content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.